Inflation has come for your summer cookout. The price of ketchup has skyrocketed over the last year. And while it has put the squeeze on consumers, it also may have reignited a long time debate. Does ketchup belong on a hot dog? How about a brat? We are the only local news station brave enough to take on this debate. If you put ketchup on a hot dog, you are going against decades of popular culture. Like what? Here's Clint Eastwood as Dirty Harry Callahan back in 1983. Nobody, I mean nobody, puts ketchup on a hot dog. The National Hot Dog and Sausage Council, whatever the heck that is, lists ketchup as a no for people over 18. And now even the economy is piled on. The cost of ketchup has skyrocketed over the last year. It's tripled in, in the last, oh, in the last, I'd say year. Jeremy and Rick run the hot dog stand on the busiest corner of downtown Milwaukee. They are here every business day, and they move more dogs than the American Kennel Club. That's, right. That's a work of art. They say they will put whatever you want on a dog without judgment. People get what they want, and I don't tell them what they should do. Which is different than some hot dog stands in Chicago. Check out this report from our sister station in the Windy City, a strict no ketchup policy. Salt and ketchup comes out on the tray. You'll have to do that yourself. It seems much of this anti-ketchup bias comes from our neighbors to the south, who claim their own style of hot dog, and apparently it makes them some kind of experts. You do not put ketchup on a Chicago-style hot dog. This made me wonder, forget about a Chicago dog, what would a Milwaukee dog look like? And some people told me that at least one ingredient would draw influence from the old ballpark. Yeah, but the Dusseldorf mustard is actually the best. The, the brown mustard, the Dusseldorf mustard, I've had people come up just for that because they can't find that anywhere. The old hot dogs at uh, Miller Park and County Park with the Dusseldorf mustard, out of this world. A Milwaukee-style dog has not gone nationally famous just yet, maybe because Chicago dogs follow the pack and this city prefers individuality. Ketchup, you gotta do the brown mustard, no yellow. And then we, we like onions on them, too. You have to have the sauerkraut, the onion, the brown mustard, maybe some relish on there. So if you can afford it these days, drown that dog in ketchup or mayo or coleslaw or secret sauce because Chicagoans do not get to come up here and push us around. I don't like Chicago, so uh, I, don't, I don't listen to what they tell me I should put on a hot dog. I, I think for myself. In Milwaukee, Bill Walsh, CBS 58 News. Ketchup on a brat? No. Not for me personally, but if you want to, that's great. More mustard for me. Yeah, I like spicy mustard. They were right about that. Onions, relish. That's all you need. Raw onions? Yes. Yeah, me too. Well, grilled is cool sometimes. It just depends on what mood you're in, you know? Okay. I... If, and, and if you have to talk to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that, Amanda. Good looking out for your co-anchor there. I, I, wouldn't, I would eat raw onions before I talk to you. <laughs>